Hey, it's around here. This is a follow-up tutorial. Once you have set up that mailing settings and custom domain with System.io, what do you do then and how do you do the next steps of the housekeeping? So if you haven't watched the previous tutorial, this was a 20 minutes tutorial where I explain why custom domain is important, why mailing settings is important and how this affects you in running your business with System.io. So if you haven't watched that video, go back and make sure you follow that. Now I've done all the steps and everything is working perfectly. Now what's going to happen is now that the, everything is connected, we click on the DNS checker and you can see here that everything is showing perfectly. You can see that there is some um, places where it's still an X, but overall it is populating, it's in green and means it's all good. So now what are we going to do is now when we type in the domain name bluefarmhousemusic.com, you're going to see a problem because you're going to see the system error page. And you might be thinking, oh my God, I did something wrong. Actually, if you're seeing this after setting everything up, like I showed you here, that is excellent news. That means you've done it correctly and system is now officially connected. The only problem is that you have not now designated which page is going to be shown on this domain name as your home page. And now I'm going to show you how to do that. So in this case, you will see that we have set up the home page under the blog area. Sometimes you will do it under funnels. Sometimes you will do it under blogs. In the case of my client, we decided to do it under blog. Now, here's the thing. What we do is we click on blogs. And once we do that, you will see the blog right here. I'm not going to explain the hierarchy of blogs and how all that works. I've got a totally different tutorial that you can watch on that where I break this down in detail. Now, what you want to do is you click on blog settings and you got the blog domain. Now I'm going to click here, change it to blue farmhouse. And this is the URL path. I'm going to click on save. Now you will notice that one of these domain names, the blogs is going to be the home page. In this case, it's under pages and you can see it right here. So this is the domain name. Now, if I'm going to go to this error page and I'm going to refresh, you will see that the website is now going to appear. This is the blog page or the home page. Now, this we already set up. Now, here's the issue. You will notice at the very top, I want you to pay attention. You will notice at the very top right here that you still see the system IO logo and you will see the word home and my site. Okay, so how do we change that? You go to blog posts and then you're going to click right here on blog page settings. This is the home page. That's all good. Now you're going to go click on edit of this particular page and it's going to take you to the page editor. Once you're on the page editor, you're going to do two things. You're going to go click right here on the very top under settings. So pay attention. You're going to hover over here to settings. Okay. Click on it. And then you're going to scroll here to the search engine optimization section. And you see here, it says on my site. So we're going to change this to blue farmhouse music because that's the name of the website or the business. Then you're going to also want to add the description of, of the information here. Now I'm going to leave this to my client to do, but this is where the description is really important. And also you can add the social image, which is again, very important. Once you've optimized all this information, you want to uncheck hide from search engines. Now I'm just going to click on save and I want you to pay attention right now. It's going to say home, my site. I'm going to click on save changes and I'm going to now click on this button on the top, right? Which is the exit button. And I'm going to click right here again and I'm going to refresh. Now, when I refresh, you will notice that this will change to blue farmhouse music, refresh blue farmhouse music. That's done. Now, what do you do then? This system IO logo is still here. We don't want it there. So what we do is we go back to system IO. We click, we hover on the top, right? So pay attention, hover to the top, right? I'm going to just highlight this for you. Hover right here. And you see this little check, this little drop down. You're basically going to just hover over it and then click on settings. Now you're going to go to custom domains and now you will see blue farmhouse music right here. Okay. Now you're going to now change the favicon. 
Now to do the favicon, you're gonna click here on choose file. Now one thing you'll notice is it says ready to use now, which is all good. I'm gonna change this to mark domain as default. Okay, that's one thing that's really important. And now I'm gonna uh, click on add the favicon. Now I'm going to find the favicon and here it is. Now this is the favicon. I'm gonna click on open. Now you will notice that it says file is too large. So how do you fix that? You're gonna to go to a website called favicon.io. You're going to click on image and now you're going to find that particular logo. So I'm gonna search for it again, Blue Farm House. Click on it. You're going to drag this favicon or the logo, it could be your logo, that's okay too, right here. And you'll see it appear at the bottom. Now you're gonna click on download and you will see this appear on the bottom right. You're gonna click on it and then you're going to see the different options for a favicon right here at the correct sizing. You're gonna go back to system IO. You're gonna click on choose file again. You're gonna go to downloads. You will pick the 32 by 32. This will look terrible, but don't worry about it. Just click on it, click on open. And now you will see the favicon is uploaded. Now that that's done, we're gonna go back to the domain name. We're gonna refresh and I want you to pay attention that when I do that, this will be updated, okay? So I'm gonna click on refresh and pay attention. You see, now the favicon appears. So now that's the final housekeeping issue that you wanna get set up. Now, if you are setting things up on funnels as well, you just want to click on things just to make sure that the domain is set up the correct way. You will see that by default, this is already showing up and that's, um, that's all good. If you have multiple domains, for example, in my case, like I have multiple domains, I do not recommend that you change the default. Leave the default as the system IO subdomain because this business only has one domain and no more, make it the default and make it make things simple. But if you're in a business like mine where I have multiple domain names, just leave it under this, okay? So that's about it. Hope you got value from this video. Uh, again, if you're new to this channel, you wanna learn more about me and what I do, I have a tech support membership. I help people with the system IO website. Um, I have uh, a template club, things along these lines. I will leave all the details below in the description. Uh, on how I help people with their system IO website. Uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching this and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used system or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the system page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive. And when you feel confident like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply $27 a month or you can also get $197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you wanna check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System IO, definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.